Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel. Welcome to episode number three. Since it's week three of my Eurosexification 2014, it's episode number three of Just a Tip Tuesday. Week one, we talked about the importance of water on your weight loss program. Episode number two, last week, we talked about the importance of fiber in your diet. Well, today we're talking about something that just totally sneaks up on a lot of people that's very, very important. And I'm talking about keeping in check, keeping in control of your use of sauces and drinks. We'll talk about drinks at first. There's so many, many drinks. Obviously, I always talk about how the importance of water. Stick with water and not all of the vitamin waters and uh, the carbonated waters and things like that. Water's the best, but a lot of people drink a whole lot of things. There's lemonade, there's sodas, there's diet sodas, um, there's lemonade, there's fruit juices, there's fake fruit juices uh, with all of the hydrogenated uh, processed sugars and things like that. A whole lot of crap. There's also, say your coffees. Yeah, you can go to Starbucks and get a nice black coffee with nothing in it, but you can also go get a sugar-laced mocha or a hot chocolate or a whole bunch of different drinks. Same with teas. You can have a tea that's pretty, pretty healthy. It's got some caffeine that will help speed up your... Um, it's just like some of the pills have caffeine in them. They speed up your metabolism. Same with coffee. But uh, once you fill it with all of the fillers, like the sweeteners and the sugars, they're not as good for you as they were. So keep in check. Uh, just think about it as you go throughout the day. If you have a mocha with a couple hundred calories every morning for every five days a week, it's just like with the money side of it. You spend five bucks a drink every day for five days, that's 25 bucks. You times that by 52, that's a hell of a lot of money. Same with the calories, that's a hell of a lot. So obviously you wanna stick with water, but uh, think about it, if you drink a whole two liter of soda a day, which a lot of people do, that's a hell of a lot of calories. That's killing. You may be on a healthy diet food-wise, but if you're having all those calories in the form of soda or whatever, it's really, really killing your diet, and it's the same with beer. You can think that you can drink and still lose weight, but at the end of the day, you're just kind of half-assing it. Yeah, one or two is not a big deal, but there's not a whole lot keeping you once you have one or two What's stopping you from having 6 or 7 or 24? So definitely keep in check the liquids because those will definitely kill you because you can obviously consume a hell of a lot more liquids than sauces, which we're going to talk about now. When I was over in Europe, my favorite sauces were samurai sauce on my French fries in Belgium. And then in Ireland, I love taco sauce. I had it on one of my challenges in Campyle. But those were by no means healthy. There was probably, it's just, they're just like ranch hollandaise sauce, uh, Thousand Island dressing, Caesar dressing, all of those sauces, some of them have over 15, sometimes up to 20 grams of fat per two tablespoons. And how often do you only eat two tablespoons of any dressing on a salad? Sometimes it's a lot more. And even the low calorie dressings, uh, just like low calorie Caesar or low calorie ranch, um, they take the, like I said in another video, if you take out fats, there's usually added sodium or sugars. If you take out the salt, there's usually more fat or sugar. And if you take out the sugar, it's probably high in fat, just like ranch and uh, all those others are. Take a look at even peanut butter. Take a look at reduced fat peanut butter and then regular peanut butter. There's more fat in the regular peanut butter, but there's more sugar in the reduced. Same with low calorie ranch versus regular ranch. So think about that. Next time you go put on a whole bunch of dressing on your salad, you're adding, you could be possibly adding hundreds of calories to what is a barely any calorie salad if you've got mostly uh, vegetables and maybe grilled chicken, tuna or salmon, something like that. All that dressing on it just killed the nutritional basis. Yeah, you can have it, but if you do that every day, there's a whole lot of different things you can substitute, which I'll talk about next. And I just went to Sam's last night to pick up my favorite, Frank's Red Hot Sauce. I put this stuff on everything. And when you look at it, there are zero grams of everything other than sodium. There's 200 milligrams, but that's really not that bad compared to, say you pick up your low calorie light Italian. There's a hell of a lot more sodium in that. My other favorites are mustard. Those are zero calorie. I'm not talking about honey mustard. 
uh, regular mustard, and also when you cook something, obviously the really healthy leaner meats that a lot of people go with when they're trying to lose weight, there's salmon, there's grilled chicken, there's tuna, uh, sometimes I have mackerel, and there's a heck of a lot of other things like pork tenderloin, that can be healthy. If you get extra lean ground beef, you don't always have to stick to the same boring chicken and salmon and things like that. You can venture out. You don't have to die on your diet. But think about before you want to add sauces and uh, caloric stuff, even barbecue sauce and ketchup, barbecue sauces have a lot of sugar and so does ketchup and everything else. Think about your seasoning. So when you go to cook your grilled chicken, think about what seasoning you're putting on it. Because if the chicken's not that bad, if the chicken's not okay to eat by itself with maybe a low calorie uh, or zero calorie sauce, you probably just suck at cooking the chicken or the salmon or whatever you're cooking. It's not supposed to be dry as hell. Spend a little time cooking it and then you won't need to put as many sauces to cover up the bad tasting food on the back end. So think about that. Um, I'll cut it off there, but after this video and Tonight or tomorrow or throughout the day, think about how many calories you take in from liquids and sauces. And for a lot of you, and sometimes me, I know when I'm not on my diet, some things can kill me because obviously, like I said, samurai sauce and things over in Europe, and uh, every now and then I like ranch or um, things like that. But over time, all those calories add up. So think about that. If this video helped you, please subscribe for more videos to Randy Santel Talks. And if you're on a diet just like me, sometimes it might help to watch somebody else eat. So go ahead and check out all my food challenge videos. Just, up, just uploaded one today on my Randy Santel channel. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+. It's all Randy Santel. Until my next video on Thursday for Throwback Thursday, which will also be very good. I already know what it's going to be about. Thanks for watching.